Hey guys, Chad with Pure Media Systems. Today I'm out in Prosper, Texas doing a pre-wire for an outdoor system. Uh, we're wiring for Ethernet today for uh, the patio and getting everything ready so that we can get their AV system going for outside with their pool and, and whole outdoor entertainment centers done. <laughs> So I get asked all the time, why do we need to plan ahead? Why do we need to work with you ahead of time to get all the wiring done? Can't you just do that after the fact? Well, short answer, yes, we can do it after the fact, but it's not nearly as easy or as clean. So we can do a much better job and do it a lot faster, which is a lot less cost to you as a customer, doing it ahead of time, working in, getting everything going. So I'm gonna show you what I did here today so that you can see just what it would take. And this is something that would be exceptionally difficult to do once all of the finish out is done for uh, the whole awning and, and purple and everything here. Uh, sort of the patio cover, excuse me. So it'd be a lot more difficult once this is up camera room. So I've got the camera mixed around. So I went ahead and I have wired in here. Let me get over here. So let the exposure adjust. So I've got a, a, a gang box in here with a Cat6 pre-wired in and stapled all the way across. So got it all the way mapped up here. This is the original patio cover, which does not give really any, um, it, it, there's barely any gap between here. We were able to fish, take it all the way around and go around here. Uh, but this is something that they're gonna be tying in with this. So this is all gonna be, this is all gonna be closed in. Uh, we, if we wanna do this after the fact, we'd have to cut some major access holes to get everything in. We've got all that worked around. We'll walk around here so you can see. Crew is here working on the outdoor kitchen right now. But uh, so up under here, we've got the cable coming around, and all it's stapled all the way across here so that it doesn't have any issues uh, coming up or anything like that. And we've actually got it in here, uh, worked with the electrician and everything. We told them where we want the outlets. They went ahead and put it in right where we wanted it. Uh, what we've done is we've got it coiled up here, and uh, we've got uh, a gang box here, double gang box, so we can uh, work easily going through. And we'll have this uh, covered and everything else. So again, this is going to be all finished out. And on the inside, uh, we've got another single gang box uh, with the electric outlet. So we're going to have a 65-inch TV right here. Let me zoom out. So we've got, we're going to have a 65-inch TV right here, and everything is done. So what we're going to end up doing uh, this is what the customer asks us to do in this situation. Sometimes, uh, you know, customer wants us to go through the wall. Um, everything is in this corner or inside this room where all the equipment's going to be. Uh, but it's not uh, for about uh, 10 feet inside the room and the customer doesn't want anything in there visible. It doesn't want to have the patching drywall. Um, that's what we'd have to do to get everything fished through the wall because it's next to your wall and there's some different fire breaks we've already tested out here. So we're actually going to be able to put a uh, junction box out here and tie into the conduit and we'll come all the way down. Again, we've worked, uh, so we've already got the conduit here because uh, once the landscaping crew comes in, we're not going to want to dig up the nice new yard. So we've already got a conduit with pole string that comes up under here to right here. We've got another one actually. You can see there's two conduits here. All the equipment is actually going to be right inside here. So we've got another conduit that comes all the way across. And I'll show you this one here. And there's a conduit that comes out right here. So it comes out right here with the pull string. So we can go ahead and pull uh, the speaker cable through um, once all the landscaping is in. We're going to actually have four Klipsch Pro 650 rock speakers all the way across the back of this. So they get a nice, even balance of the legendary Klipsch sound. Uh, so, you know, their logo is pissing off the neighbors and, uh, or their motto, excuse me, is pissing off the neighbors. And um, they can do that or they don't have to. They can have a nice ambiance here. Um, it'll be a nice, uh, that way it's facing towards the pool. A lot of time we do the uh, AW650s and we can have them up underneath awning here and, you know, or underneath the eaves and the soffits and, you know, blast out towards the pool, but then you interrupt your neighbors. In this situation, you know, they want to have uh, the nice rock look and, you know, tying in with their new uh, retaining wall here and have that legendary clip sound. So we're going to have four Pro 650 rock speakers all the way across here. And this allows us to have all that ready. Again, this saves a lot of time. We're not. So again, that allows us to be able to not have to trench the trench, uh, the yard, dig up anything. And it just makes for a nice, much cleaner installation. Like I said, if we were to have done the awning again, if we we're going to run this after the fact, you know, we may have to go along the outside or 
actually cut some access panel holes in this uh, awning so we can actually fish everything get it over anything is possible it's just a matter of imagination so this is by far the easiest way this this did not take very long to get done uh, so so this does not take nearly as long to get done as it would if we were to do it retro so please give us a call at 972-905-0556 or email sales at puremediasystems.com. I'll have that information down here in the bottom for you to, uh, easy access for you there. Again, we are in the Dallas-Fort Worth area in North Texas. We can help you plan your system out through the whole process. Make sure you get the correct system and equipment for your uh, goals, whatever you're doing with your system. Again, if we can be reached at 972-905-0556 or email sales at puremediasystems.com. If you're in another area, we can ship nationwide. We are authorized to with Eclipse, uh, Sonos, Sony, really pretty much any major manufacturer out there. We get nationwide free shipping and we can um, help you plan as well for what you're wanting to do. Uh, we work with all different budgets as well as uh, different systems. We're not tied to one thing or another. We just help you plan and get the best system for what you need to do. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Hit that bell icon to get, so you don't so you get notified of future videos and give us a big thumbs up. Thanks guys. All right, now we fast forward a couple weeks. Uh, the pool company has made a lot of progress and uh, we've worked with the customer. They want us to go ahead and get the TV zone and the patio stuff and the wiring uh, up and running. All they have left to do is fill the pool and get that going as well as the landscaping. So we're gonna work on the speakers in uh, the next phase so that the landscape company doesn't destroy all our cables. So I'm going to show you what all we have here. I'm going to flip the camera and I'm going to zoom out here. So if you remember from uh, just a few seconds ago, actually a few weeks ago, but uh, just a few seconds ago in the video, we uh, everything, all this was down to the studs here. This is all now finished in cedar. You see how nice this looks here. Uh, up over here, we have uh, pre-wired. You see, this is just how important it is to do pre-wiring. This would be pretty much impossible to do without some major surgery after the back now. You can see the CAT6 we have here, the gang box, so we can go ahead and just mount that wall, uh, wireless access point right up there, terminate the cable. It's all run through underneath this, nice and clean. Uh, you can see here, he's got speakers out here, one and two, this is for the patio zone. We're going to have a TV right here, which we're mounting today. Uh, we ha uh, had everything pre-wired, and uh, the company went ahead and trimmed all this out. Uh, so we've got the, let's see if you can see it here, you can see it on the other side, but the uh, CAT6 cable as well as the electric for the... TV and uh, on this other side went and put a double gang box so, uh, for easier servicing and we'll have a, a box here. Uh, we're gonna have a conduit that comes down all the way here and uh, went ahead and have the electrician bury uh, the, the pipe under here with the full string so it comes out right where we need it to behind the TV. Uh, so we've got that uh, work with the customer this is how they wanted to accomplish it. There's other ways to go inside have to repair a lot of drywall but this is uh, what the customer requested here. We're going to just have the conduit come up and terminate to the box there and uh, we've got all that going so uh, we're going to be we've got here the uh, sunbright this is the uh, you can see it right there that's the sb-wm-art2-l-bl that's the large articulating mount from sunbright so this is an all-weather mount uh, it is it has stainless hardware as well as uh, powder coated frame so it won't rust uh, we're going to be mounting it to a customer provided uh, tv uh, here a 65 inch tv it's going to be again mounted right here we're going to be running audio back to the uh, control 4 uh, distribute audio amp so they can have this audio here once we get the two additional zones of speakers we're going to have a pair of speakers out there and a pair of speakers over here uh, they're going to have a sitting zone so you can have all together grouped or independently they can have the TV audio coming out of all these, but that's in phase two. So we're gonna get uh, everything working here and show you that process. All right, so we've uh, tested the cable. We terminated and tested with our uh, flute tester. So we're gonna go ahead and get the mounting plate on here and mount the uh, WAP.
All right, guys, so the customers already have a party going, but uh, we've got the 65-inch TV, uh, outdoor speakers, have our uh, Arachnid Slap right there. We come around. Up here, we've got everything uh, nicely managed through here, conduit running down. And of course, once they get the landscaping, then this will all be done, but uh, it comes up and out over here. You can see just how important uh, all this was done, um, to how important it is to have uh, us out to pre-wire and get us involved in the process. Um, this would have been almost impossible to do after the fact. So we've got it all done now. All right, guys, we're here to finish up our project out here in Prosper uh, with the whole patio and uh, backyard uh, project here. So we're gonna be installing four of the Pro 650 TRK uh, rock speakers from Klipsch. This is their uh, flagship rock speaker that they have. Uh, let me flip the camera around so you can uh, see a little bit of the detail. So you can see this is a six and a half inch uh, two-way speaker. This is in the uh, granite finish. Um, and I will pull this out of the box. What's really nice about these is this can be um, 50 watt, uh, 70 volt or 100 volt tap with a uh, eight ohm bypass. So um, we can actually wire this in several different ways with different kinds of amplifiers. We're gonna be uh, installing this with a control four uh, four zone amplifier, uh, which the customer already had, and we're going to be uh, wiring in two different zones here. So I'm going to show you the yard and uh, what we're going to be doing with it. So let me go ahead and zoom out here so you can see. So everything is finished here. Uh, landscapers finally came in and finished everything. So uh, as you can see over here, we have a conduit that comes up right here with the pull string that comes out all the way down on the side of the house over there, uh, right on the other side where we're going in for the, uh, into the, the living room where the amplifier is. Uh, we're gonna be using direct burial uh, 14 uh, gauge four conductor cable. So we're gonna have a speaker here. We're gonna have two speakers, one on either side over here, and uh, basically staggered evenly along the back here so that they can have music just to the pool uh, or over here in the sitting fire pit area. So it, uh, they can either operate, they can group them together or uh, have them separate here. Apologize about the direct sunlight, it is uh, fairly early in the morning still here. Um, so as you can see, everything turned out really nice in this backyard and we're gonna go ahead and get started with uh, pulling that cable. All right guys, we've got our conduit here. Um, what we're gonna be doing, we have uh, a pull string already here that uh, was run through the conduit for us. Uh, what, so to make things easy, we're gonna be using um, some wire uh, and cable pull lubricant. So it, uh, we're just gonna put it inside the, uh, the conduit here. And we've got our cable, our two uh, speaker wires already taped together because we're using four conductor cables. So we've got two speakers on each cable here. So uh, the reason we're doing this, uh, we've got the two different um, speakers. So there can be different zones. Um, so the other option, option would be to be able to use a 70 volt amplifier. Uh, if the customer didn't want the two zones, it'll just be one zone here uh, and be the same uh, mono throughout the whole system here. We can always change it out in the future. Uh, it doesn't matter really how it's wired. We can always uh, tap off it and adjust it later. So we're going to start to uh, see if we can push this cable through. All right, guys, so you can see what we've got here before uh, closed it all up. Uh, we've got the all the data cables and everything that went for the TV, what we did uh, last time, uh, as well as the uh, two 14.4 uh, speaker cables coming right through here. We've got going right through the wall. Uh, of course, this is fully sealed here, uh, the conduit and everything is uh, done properly here uh, so that we can uh, have everything joined uh, and going up there since these were two separate conduit runs. Uh, one that we produced one up here went there last time. This one, again, is going underneath all the way, coming out over there for the speakers to go all the way across the back of the backyard. Uh, so we've got this, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, finish up on the other side. All right guys, so we've got the cable test fitted down here. 
uh, and lay it out. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and terminate the cables, tone them out to make sure the speakers are all working properly before we go ahead and bury the cable. All right guys, so first thing we're gonna do here, uh, we've got our cable going back to the amplifier here. Uh, we're going to uh, make sure that we've got our service loop. We always have a service loop. Just in case something happens, we have a little bit extra, we can pull through or re-terminate. This goes to the uh, second speaker here, because again, this is four conductor, meaning we can use for a total of two speakers here uh, in this uh, eight ohm configuration we're doing here. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, score the cable right here. So we don't wanna cut all the way through. Uh, we just wanna score the cable so we can pull it apart. You don't want to compromise the cable inside. So working our jacketing, there we go. So now we can pull the outer jacketing apart and we are good to go. So uh, we've got this here. We're going to go ahead and cut the string here. We do not need that. Okay, so I always do uh, the green and white speaker for the, or cables for the left speakers. So we're going to separate those here. I always do red and black for the right. So be careful not to cut the red and black speakers. We want to make sure that we have leads for the left side so we don't have to keep stripping back. So right here. So you see we've got this. It is now the, this is now uh, done going so uh, we cannot unless we uh, wire nut another chain which we could do uh, is this if this was like a 70 volt configuration for example we could use this uh, in uh, parallel and keep going so um, we're gonna go ahead and strip this and attach it to the uh, speaker cable that's coming out of the speaker itself Start where you guys pull off the ends. And I always do the end speaker uh, cable. It's very uh, common to have the green for positive and the white for negative. So we're going to. These together. and give a little tug and we're good and then we're going to do the white for negative so this is a very common way to to see it in for speaker cables here together all weather wire nut twist it on so it uh, locks in place Oh, nice tug and we're good to go. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, get the next speaker going. Again, this is a temporary placement. We're gonna bury this cable. Uh, this is just when we wanna tone the speakers out and make sure they work.
All right, guys, so we just finished up out here. Uh, it's been a long project, as, uh, as you can see from uh, all the steps here. Uh, we've worked uh, with the customer along the, the way with the process of working with the pool contractors and landscapers and everything. Um, and we've gone in and been able to wire everything. Um, we'll give you a quick overview of everything here now, too. So uh, we've got a Samsung 65-inch uh, TV out here, and the audio comes out of the two in-ceiling speakers here. Uh, we have added this TV. We have audio uh, Roku out here, and the audio um, go, uh, an audio over Cat uh, or Ethernet cable uh, to go back to the control core amplifier uh, that is inside the room, uh, the living room on the other side of this wall. Um, out here, we worked. Um, as you can see, we've got the. Uh, Arachnid 700 series access point covered under the awning here. Um, out at the pool, we have a total of four Klipsch uh, Pro 650 TRK, that's the granite uh, rock speakers here. We've got one, two, and we'll come over here. You can see another one right there, three and four. These speakers sound fantastic. Uh, they're clear no matter what volume you turn them up to. Uh, they've got a nice bass response um, and uh, of course the legendary clip sound that, that you get uh, when you buy when you get clip speakers this is their uh, basically the reference mirror their pro line of their uh, all weather speakers so we had the um, conduit come out right here we have uh, cut it down and, and capped it off and buried it under there um, and so the cable is uh, we buried it underneath all the rocks all the way across um, and it goes all the way across over here so we'll walk back over here. We've got the uh, all the conduit and everything we pre-wired, and all you know. Of course, you've seen that already. I'll overlay anything that I uh, haven't done yet. Uh, but all that cable um, got the conduit, and this is how the customer wanted us to do. We could have gone had the option of going through on the other side of the wall, but we would have had to do. Um, go just directly through. Would have had to do some surgery uh, inside the house with the drywall. Um, the bigger problem is that uh, the dog beds are right here, so they've got a Great Dane and some other uh, big dogs. Um, we did not want to disturb uh, the dog beds, so and have cable there or anything else, um, any, uh, any cable showing there. So we've got everything coming out behind uh, the AV cabinet on the other side of this wall. Uh, and of course, everything is nice and sealed here. So there's nothing exposed throughout the, throughout the home. All right, guys, well, thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please ins consider subscribing and give us a big thumbs up. Uh, your support is greatly appreciated and helps us grow our channel uh, and our customer base. Uh, if you're interested in any products like this, uh, from Clip, Control 4, uh, Samsung, Sony, any other products that you might be interested in, we are direct authorized dealers for these products. We can have them shipped nationwide with free shipping. Uh, any of these products, if you're in the Dallas-Fort Worth area and you're interested in an installation, uh, please give us a call. We can uh, uh, do a consult and figure out the best products uh, for your needs. Uh, we're, we're going, we can figure out exactly what you need for your budget to accomplish your goals. Uh, so again, please uh, give us a call at 972-905-0556 or email sales at puremediasystems.com. Thanks guys.